This is day two out here, guys. South Texas Choke Canyon. This freaking fluorocarbon is money. What is this? That's a cool one. Dude, I'm throwing like kiss it goodbye. This is the best grass crankbait. Swank to the dome. Choke Canyon chunks. All right, there were several anglers around on that first spot, so I didn't say much. Two bites, first fish on the day was a monster. Shook it off, spot number two. Let's get back after it. This is day two out here, guys. South Texas, Choke Canyon. End of the day yesterday, broke my trolling motor prop. Well, there that goes. Luckily, Casey had a new one, a spare in his boat. Yeah, so that worked out. I'm feeling like I should not be an idiot and get the net out because we are on Choke Canyon. Any one of these fish could be the fish. Let's not. <coughs> Jack a lack around. This is a little cheap expandable net I got on Amazon, but it does the job. Expando commando. Let's do our best not to break the trolling motor today. Also do our best not to break the lower unit today. If I can see, if I can see the bait, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball or something. I don't know. All right, one thing at a time there, Elroy. I feel the need. The need for speed. Didn't even get a bite on the way in. Are you on bottom? Oh yeah, I might be. <laughs> bottom sounds different back yeah, home. I don't know how it's shallow, dude. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. It's the end of the road. Yeah. What are you throwing? Oh, he got the little. He got the little whistle stick. That fish is on a bed right there, and that's a. Big uh, that's what you probably did. That's a big, and it's hits. Too. I mean, super shallow. Saw him come up off the bank and just suck it in. Decent fish, couple pounds. Chest cam out on that last fish, but it's all good. I'm gonna scoot on around the corner, see if I can find something. Yeah, uh, what do you want to give this till about noon? I think so. And then go up river? I'll be around, man. Just text me, it'll come through. But I'm just gonna go around the corner here and see. Take a look. The giant gator right here, I'm pretty sure. That thing 
just flew back. Hit me in the stomach and felt like I got shot with a paintball gun. <laughs> That's crazy. Bent that hook out, ripped it out of the tree, <laughs> came back and got my ass. I was trying to just break it off. That's a weightless flush with a freaking 4 eye EWG. I swear it felt like I just got shot with a paintball. It sting a little. That's gonna leave a mark. This freaking fluorocarbon is money. What is this? First cast, bro. Really? First cast, bro. Come right over here to me. You can see me. I see y'all yeah. leaving. Don't do it. No, I was FaceTiming you on purpose. Yes, this is it, man. And I caught one first cast. Just so you know, I ain't bull squashing. First cast over here. Backwoods bladed jigs, baby. Jackhammer or die. That's that quick release. I almost let you just go on down the lake, but then I thought, man, Casey's all right. I better tell him to come over here. Appreciate you. Thanks, boss. Another choke canyon chunk for you, boy. Came all the way back here to this little, little tiny little pocket. Found that guy. I just want to check that little bowl right there in there no man i'm so glad that y'all got on some fish man i'm stoked for y'all man that's awesome glad you pulled over there. well this is the spot that i mean this is that that yeah, uh i thought it was in the island south i looked at the map completely wrong this is it and the other one i went and hit that other spot didn't even get a bite so yeah thanks for thanks for calling i appreciate it let me ask you this boss what depth are you holding your boat at Keep your boat in six. Okay. Six and a half, and that grass is growing from three to five. Okay. I'm literally go over the. You, sometimes you see a band of it. Go over it. Get it hung up. Sitting on it or on the flats. They're everywhere. Caught them on trace though. I caught one on trace right there. Dude. Dude. It drops off to like nine foot. Yeah. Two up there. Two up there. Lost one. I threw up. Caught a trace fish. That's awesome. Some boat came in there and tried to get up in there. And messed it all up. Yeah. Everybody's taken out, dude. I feel like it might get good in like an hour. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna get after it. I'm gonna tie swing. 
Yeah, I'm tying a swank on. What color would you recommend? Don't matter. Uh, don't I'm matter. Chartreuse, and they're eating it just as good as the ghost color that we were initially throwing, ghost, uh, Raven Ghost. Okay. Sweet. Casey said they're eating. Uh -huh. Just talking to the camera. He said the swank's on fire. He wants y'all to know. The, the swank is on fire. I'm telling you, man. Casey is the most deadly swank grass fisherman I've ever fished with. Dude. He said they've been smacking me. He caught a fish like five minutes ago. So I'm busting out the swank myself. Let's see what we got here. You think they hit that brown eye? Freaking roasted the swank, dude. That was sick. Throwing the swank 77X up in the grass down south with the gators. This is the best grass crankbait ever made, dude. This thing comes through grass. Insane. All right. One more from Choke. I was headed upriver and, uh, I was on my way to the other ramp and Casey called me and said, hey dude, they're over here and we're crushing them. So you might want to come back. And I said, all right. So I drove to the closest boat ramp to this spot, paid another launch fee and launched old June bug back into the main lake. And here we are, catch a swank fish. It's heater series, 7.4 medium heavy mod fast. Excellent rod for throwing the swank 77. Heads up. That's what I'm throwing it on right now, on a metanium, seven to one. 17 pound fluorocarbon and a tank on the line up there shallow, dude. This is a nice one, this is a nice one. Oh, she's in a tree. We might not get this one. Oh, she's, we might not get this. I can see her. She is in a tree. She's still on. Oh yeah, she's still on. Come on, girl, get out of there. She's right here. Oh. Yeah, swank to the dome. That's what's up, dude. All right, another choke canyon chunk in the grass. Pretty fish, dude. Later, buddy. Here come the boat. Saw me catch the fish, come straight over. Hey, I ain't mad at it. That's how they find the spots. Dude, that fish was shallow, boys. Up in the trees. I mean, I threw up into the, like, sketch could lose my bait type stuff. And that fish ate it right on up there. So we're gonna keep doing that because that's just the way I like it right there, boys. That's just the way I like it right there, boys any fish out here and that fish got me off into a tree for a second you see how dangerous it is let's check our line here that fish definitely had me off into a tree i think i'm okay i think i'm okay i was forcing on her pretty good but she was really close to the bait it feels good looks good and the knot is secure Book is secure. Casey and them are rolling out. I wonder where they're headed. I'm not leaving. Not with me popping them on a swankster like this. Thanks for letting me have a spot, boss. If you're watching the video, I appreciate it. We sort of, he sort of returning the favor. Earlier uh, today, I, I pulled up on this point right here and busted a couple. You guys saw that. And then uh, they were on their way to another spot. I was like, hold up, don't, don't, uh, don't head out just yet. Come over here. 
and then they've been here fishing ever since doing good which makes me feel good that's a good one that's a good fish because i wanted uh casey's friend to get on fish while he was here from out of town he's from pennsylvania that right there is one of my nicer ones choke canyon chunks man this is too much fun all right it's popping off man. i've been blasting them super shallow dude really? yeah on the tree line man on the swank dude i'm throwing like kiss it goodbye and they're smoking it way up there but this swank dude that was the move but like for a minute there it was back to back to back dude yeah good deal me too i had one eat my swing as i'm pulling out of the water like pop water that's what's up I mean, that's how you know they, they want that thing yeah. that's super cool did y'all catch any over there when y'all bebopped over to the other side I knew you were going over there to see if there's grass. I was like, that's a good move. There's a little bit of like bank grass kind of stuff. Okay. Like right. Like yeah. characters all right day two in the books me and Junebug back at the condo we're gonna go make dinner hang out with everybody and then uh yeah we'll get up and do it all over again tomorrow man it's been a uh it's been a long day man i'm pretty pretty whipped today man long day on the water but it was a good one so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it man and uh we'll be uh picking this thing up again tomorrow hopefully we'll do good <laughs> If so, there will be a part three, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. But I appreciate you hanging out for me again in this one, day two. That was awesome. It's pretty cool hanging out, fishing with Casey, watching what he does from his own boat, fishing alongside of him in my boat. Good times, man. If you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, good times, man. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap her on up right here, man. That's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin, African Goose.